Hey y'all, Tanika here, back with another video for you guys. Today's Vlogmas video is going to be a hair tutorial. So, I have been getting lots of requests um, in my inbox for how to do that side swooped bun thing that I had um, when I did the earring DIY tutorial. So, I am going to show you guys how I did this style. I absolutely love this look. Um, I love side swooped bangs and, and um, side buns. They look great on my face shape. It actually is very similar to a hairstyle that I had on my wedding day. Um, so I, I, it's my go-to type of formal fancy getting dressed up hairstyle so when I was able to figure out how to recreate it with my sister locks I was over the moon so I want to share it with you guys if you're getting married um, you know if you got a winter wedding or a Christmas formal or something coming up if you're a bride yourself this look will be perfect for you it's very classy elegant makes you look real rich and stuff so yeah if you want to see how i completed this look and the different variations of how you can dress it up please stay tuned before i get into this video i know you ain't gonna watch this video and not subscribe i mean come on it's free it'll, it'll just bloop right there just go ahead and do it all right let's get started so here I am with my hair down with little to no product in it. Next thing you're gonna need to do is make sure you finger detangle your hair. You're also obviously not gonna need anything like as far as utensils for this. So just finger part your hair and have the front section parted off and put that in a bun to use for later on in the hairstyle. You are then going to catch up the remaining um, hair and you're going to swoop it over to one side. So you're gonna Put your hair in a ponytail to one side of your head. Now when you're putting your hair in the side ponytail, you're only going to do half of your hair. You're going to leave the bottom half out. I'm using a puff cuff to clip up the hair that I um, am putting in a ponytail. Just feeling myself a little bit. Next thing you're going to want to do is take um, one of your large bobby pins and you're going to roll and tuck the bottom part of your hair that you didn't put in the ponytail. You're going to just roll and tuck that and then pin it with the bobby pin like I'm doing right here. You now have that remaining piece of the ponytail um, that's out. You're going to do the same thing that you did with the bottom part. You're just going to roll and tuck that. Just roll and tuck like I'm doing here. Try and get as much of the ends in and tucked under as you possibly can. All of them would be fantastic. You're going to use your twisty pins to pin the tucked ends underneath the rolled bun. It took me two twisty pins to get all of my hair securely pinned into the roll. Thank you. 
I know this, if this looks a little bit sloppy, it's literally because I was doing it for the video. I'm not going anywhere today. It's snowing outside. Um, but yeah. So now you're going to take the bang portion, that front part that you pinned up earlier, and you're going to twist that up and back like I'm doing in this video. Just twist it up and back and then tuck the hair from your little swoopy bang situation on the opposite side of your roll. And then you're going to use a twisty pin to secure it. And here is the finished product. You can zhuzh it up by using any type of little flower. Here is a feather clip that I bought in New York City like 11 years ago. You can also use a beautiful brooch type pin. Um, I think this would be perfect for, like I said, like a wedding or something. And then finally, if you really want to do something unexpected, you can put the clip on the other side of the roll. All right, y'all, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that thumbs up button on your way out. Also, subscribe. Don't be stingy. Share the shade. I have more tutorials coming. Um, actually, I have more stuff coming every day for this month. So be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're one of the first people to see when I have uploaded something new. All right, y'all, thanks again so much for watching, and until next time, may the fierce be with you.